There's a revolution going on in the field of startups. It's called growth hacking. With us today, we have the expert, the evangelist of startups growth hacking, uh, David Arnaud. David, fire away. You give us a five minute seminar. Yeah, thank you. Um, so funnily enough, growth hacking is actually not a really well-named uh, term and it can be quite misleading because it sounds like we're just hacking growth, which is not the case. Um, growth hacking is actually a mindset, it's a, a philosophy and it's a process that allows companies um, and products uh, to use the available tools and a lot of data in a more progressive and innovative way to unlock growth, to build growth engines within uh, companies. So we believe that with lean startup and with reduced marginal costs, it's actually much easier to build great product today than it was 10, 10 years ago, especially digital products. What's harder is to actually get those products in front of the right audience. That's one of the biggest um, obstacles that we face. And growth hacking is, to make it simple, it's a mix of creative marketing. So, for example, using other people's audiences or imagining yourself as David versus Goliath, trying to find extremely creative ways to grow and attract uh, customers. It's also about experimentation and data. So we have a scientific approach to marketing, a very uh, data approach to marketing, and we like to test things before actually jumping full on into them. And I think that the third major aspect of growth hacking is actually automation and engineering. So when we experiment, when we find something that does work, we build it into the product. And if we can't build it into the product, we build it into the company through a system or through a process. We also use product engineering as a form of marketing. So being able to use scripts or tools to analyze data and to build uh, pieces and parts of our, uh, of our growth engine. Uh, another thing I want to say about growth hacking is that it's actually not an individual sport, it's a team sport. And the ideal team for growth hacking is a mix of a uh, head of growth, first of all, which is somebody who's very analytical, who's very data oriented, but also a really big risk taker because we are breaking a lot of eggs and taking risks uh, in growth hacking. And second of all, the growth hacker's best friend is the, the CTO, uh, sort of this kick-ass full stack coder that really understands uh, the, today's tools and today's uh, digital environment. Uh, also, we should work with a copywriter or a visual designer in, in order to test different types of content and, and, and visual, uh, visual things. And then finally, the data analyst part. So really in, important to understand that it's just not this one person as an island, but really growth hacking is a, is, is a team sport. So it's much larger than you would expect, right? Absolutely. I mean, what we're starting to see is that not only startups are using growth hacking techniques, but uh, corporates are starting to be uh, interested in it as well. Because we have so many tools and data available to us today that it's much easier to reduce not only product development risk, but also marketing risks. So rather than jumping into a big you know, marketing acquisition campaign for, a multi, for um, uh, multiple millions of dollars, we can actually test stuff at a much smaller scale and then incrementally build off of what's working. Yeah. And can you give us your website? Yeah. So the website is, uh, we're building a tribe, a family of growth hackers here in the Netherlands. And it's www, uh, sorry, www.growthtribe.nl. So growth tribe, like a, an Indian tribe.nl. <laughs> And uh, I'd like to plug in a, a second website as well, which is www.todo.com. So, thank you so much for sharing all your insight Thanks. about growth hacking. For more yeah. information, go to interconnection.com and there you'll find the two web pages as well. Bye bye.